Redfall is the latest so-called AAA title from Microsoft and Arcane Studios, and it's been absolutely destroyed by various gaming outlets and YouTubers the past few days since its release. So, as a good little YouTuber, I decided to try it out for myself in order to find out if the game is all that bad. But instead of just telling you, I'll be showing you parts of my experience with clips taken from my recent livestream. If you want to see my conclusion right away, you can just skip to this time frame right here, but I'd recommend you watch the whole thing just to get the full picture. And without further ado, here we go. There is a possibility that this stream could be a little bit choppy. Uh, and the thing is, I am running this game on a 2080, an RDX 2080. I don't have the, the, the next generation, the 30 series, and I don't have the 40 series. I think, though, that my 2080 is probably more representative of the general, the, the, the general consumer, right? Because not everybody can afford a 30 series or 40 series because they're both really expensive, right? I, of course, bought my 2080 when it was really expensive, but still, I'm still using it and I've been using it for several years now. So um, I was feeling like, hey, th this 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 game does not look that graphically demanding. So so it sh it should by all means work, right? They took more than a drop. They took everything. Is this what the cutscenes are gonna be like? No. Like just a Something bunch of slideshows. Swallowing up this place bit by bit. <sighs> Jacob, he's struggling to rise. Okay, so as you guys can see, gotta get out of this tin can while there's still daylight. I've increased the field of view a little bit, so it's at 100 right now, so it's not on the standard 90. So that naturally pulls the performance down a little bit. Uh, I do think, you know, it, for being in 1440p, I wouldn't say that the performance is that bad just yet. Oh, chocolatory confinement, smoochies. I gotta check out what the what River Tuner says. River Tuner. Okay, we're at 56. Fi look up, look it up there to the left. You guys can see that. We're at 59 to 60 FPS. Wow, the frame times are awful. Holy shit. Okay, full screen. Uh, let's go. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, we're we're still dipping. We're barely reaching. Okay, we got a little bit over. A little bit over 60. Frame ta <laughs> times are hellish. I wouldn't say they're hellish, but they're not as exactly great. And it seems like no matter if I go 1080p or uh, 1440p, it's still the same. I mean, it looks pretty cool, uh, you know, aesthetically. The, going on the art style is pretty interesting. Can I knife him in the you, back or something? Your kids! Your parents! Oh, he didn't see me. Interesting. Nobody's getting away! <laughs> what are you guys doing? Can I knife them? I okay, Where? there's there's you nothing. The oh god. Like, the enemies seem pretty dumb. Uh, <laughs> this is a normal. So, that was, uh, that was easy. I don't think he even got hit. They're literally stormtroopers. That was, uh, that was funny. Like, what? <laughs> can I, can I sneak this guy in the back? Come on, hurry up. Hey, hey, hey. The sun. Hello? The Hello? Sun. Are you hit? Hello? Hello? He actually hit me. Interesting. Yeah, the problem with the frame times is that it's so... Ugh. It's kind of like Jedi Survivor in a way where, you know, because the frames are really unstable, you can see that up in the left corner, because it's so unstable all the time, you see the frames go fluctuating so heavily, it's, uh... It feels so bad. Because, you know, the, your aim gets thrown off whenever the frame times are uneven. Oh, just punch. <laughs> hmm. 
interesting. Flashlight here. Okay. Yes. It's very dark. I can't see a thing. Help. I'm blind. I'm blind. How'd you like that? Uh, this game looks unimpressive either way. Jedi Survivor looks genuinely good, but this one here looks bad, plays bad, and is fundamentally bad. Yeah, here's the thing, right? The problem with Jedi Survivor is that it's just, again, badly optimized. Otherwise, Jedi Survivor is really good. You know, story-wise, gameplay-wise, everything is really tight. I haven't finished the first mission here yet. We are gonna do that. But so far, I'm pretty unimpressed with how very unsmooth this game feels like. And I have now put everything on low. Everything is on low. I'm at 1080p. Uh, and this, again, is a 2080 graphic card, graphics card. And I turned off upscaling. So... Flashlight dropped 10 frames. Yeah, it did. What the? Look at this. Look at the colors of the, the backlights for the car. The brake lights. Why does it go transparent? Is that how it works in real life? <laughs> it like loses all the color. Oh no. Destroying vampires. But Let's go, vamp! I'm gonna destroy your ass. Are you prepared? Oh, jeez. Are you weak yet? Where did you go? Oh, you little chicken shit. Get over here. Oh, he called me chicken shit. Or did I? Wait, what? That's so good. Okay. That definitely would have felt better if I could just run the game at max de uh, settings, but I can't. Raven. That music, though. Ew. We aren't gonna hurt you. We don't wanna hurt you. Damn! Damn! Is that Spider-Man? I read that a French retailer had contacts with Microsoft and that person said that Microsoft never believed in this game to begin with. I mean, as much as that, you know, is probably made up, uh, probably from your friend's side, uh, I, I wouldn't put it... It wouldn't be uh, unbelievable if it was true. Because I don't know with this game. Oh yeah, the cutscenes are just a slideshow. Yeah, I noticed the the first one. Are the cultists gone? The intro. It's safe to come out now. We got them all. Okay. What is going on? Why are we watching? I thought you were talking about the intro slideshow. God, it looks so ugly. Because I have that. <laughs> Look at that, the billboard. <laughs> Everything is on low, I know. But mad. This looks... I'm really uh, impressed, but in the bad, baddest way possible. <laughs> her hands are just disappearing into her pants and not her pockets. See who's running this outfit. Time to meet the locals. I mean, even the music is so uninspired, and I have no idea what really happened there. It's like, oh, you saved the civilians, and then what? There are other people here who need help just as much as you. We could have died. Glad the Reverend kept those flares. <laughs> His face. That looks like the classic Bethesda, you know, the Bethesda faces for some reason. What's with the stare, my guy? <laughs> Hello there, pregnant woman, Anna. 
<sighs> Are you just gonna Things sigh at me? Be oh, so okay. easy for this little guy. Way the world is. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Joe. What the? What's going on? <laughs> I never like the sun anyway. I burn easy. <laughs> What's going on? You can't even really talk to them. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Yes. The music kind of sounds like the, you know, those really bad uh intentionally bad covers of good songs like uh you know the flute version of my heart will go on you know those ones um the music is kind of like that for me in this game it just does not fit it's, it's no jive i'm not getting i'm not getting jiggy with the music unfortunately Oh! No! Get to the chopper! Damn. That was Bellwind. Was it now? Searching those choppers could be the fastest way to find supplies. Oh god, that popping. Again, I know it's low, but man. <laughs> I want to try and see if I can assassinate these guys. That would be cool. Ah, oh, god damn it! Hey! Freaking frame drops. Frickety frackety. Oh! No! No, vampire! Ooh! I should do that every time. The music starts playing when you kill a vampire. Just start dabbing. Ooh, is that how you dab? Ooh, what are the cool kids now? Um, uh, if you played Cyberpunk by release, by release, you'd be happy with this performance. I, I actually not Christina because when I played Cyberpunk, I could actually max out the game on release, and I didn't really have that many issues with, with my performance. I know that sounds uh, too good to be true, but it's actually true. My uh, my performance but with uh, Cyberpunk was much better when I played that on Ultra um, than this game, unfortunately. <laughs> and Cyberpunk, as we all know, looks phenomenal. One of the best looking games out there still. I guess the thing I don't like so much about the guns is that there's literally no recoil. They don't feel really powerful. They sort of feel like water guns when you shoot them. I mean, I, I think that could help the game a lot if the games were just a little, or, or I mean, if the the guns were just a little bit more heavy. That there, there there was some form of recoil, there was some form of you know kickback to make it feel a little Trails bit more rough. realistic. There's a little bit of a sway with the guns, but. It's just, I don't know. They all seem so dumb. Like, why are they running at me like this? Couldn't they, like, have, you know, taken cover behind this rock or something? It just seems like every enemy is just absolutely brain dead. You know, my aim is completely shoddy. Uh, or shotted. Or sh shitty. I don't know what to, what to call it because the frames are so uneven. So, I can't really get any good sh good shots in but i'm still steamrolling people yes it is almost way too easy for being normal mode we could also we could you know we could try changing it to midnight sent to burn evidence on an island full of vampires i guess that ain't a coincidence better get this intel back to base return to the fire station Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. So level up. We leveled up. Race rakes. Cool. True to form. 
It ain't wrong to want to be part of something special. Stop being broke or mad or scared. Just breathe easy. Same deal here. They got it all figured out. Catch is, you have to cut your neighbor's throat to get in. So, no. That don't sit right with me. If I get, would put a price tag on Redfall, this feels more like a... Uh, it feels like an indie game. I'm gonna be... If I'm gonna be completely honest. A pretty uh, unoptimized indie game. And I would probably give 20 bucks for this game. But only if the game had better performance. Where I could actually max the game out. Because so far it's pretty... Hmm. Aside from performance and stuff like that, it's just... I don't know. It's just... Eh. It, it does not feel like a AAA game. 30 bucks max, not even 30. 20. And I think I'm being generous with that. I get it that the story might get interesting as you get deeper into the game, but if the game doesn't sell it to you in the first two hours, it's already a bad sign. I agree, Griffin. The thing is, so far the game hasn't really sold me on anything. Especially because it doesn't feel good to play um, and as I mentioned before most of the gameplay aspects are pretty lackluster uh, I haven't really gotten that far very true but first impressions are really everything and so far it's just eh. and I mean difficulty wise it's also pretty strange because I'm now playing at the hardest difficulty. Might All get clear. really hard on boss fights. But if if, if um, the game plays to signify anything, and the enemy AI being really stupid, uh, I wouldn't... I, I, I don't think I can expect much of a difficult... Much of a difficulty whenever I'm facing a boss. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Then again, it doesn't really matter much because it just feels really bad. I, if I was Microsoft, I would have just canceled this immediately. As soon as I saw the blueprint for it, I would have been, you know, no, can this shit. I'm not going to waste the company's money on making this. It's just the setting is also uninspired. I don't really care about the, the vampires. I don't care about what happened to this place. The weird mix of having this type of hip-hop music during a vampire invasion is really odd to me. It does not strike any sort of interesting, scary mood or anything. Um, what happened? Oh, it's a boss! Hi! Oh, I do have audio auto aim on. I need to turn that off. I did not know that was on. That snap was really, really, really it. So no matter what you do, for some reason, you can't you can't turn off snapping. That is shitty. Because that really made that fight feel even less gratifying than what it already was. Because you could see that in the footage, right? Like my my mouse went like this. Boom. <laughs> Felt like I was using an actual aimbot. Like what the fuck? Someone will find us. Doesn't have to be me. Hello there. <laughs> Was he stuck in the grating or something? Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. I ain't stupid. I am smart, unlike you, who has stuck your head in the grates. What oh, are you shit. doing? Worked up over nothing. You donkey. I guess those uh, hollow man cultists oh, you aren't this smart. Fine. As Microsoft would want you to believe. 
If you shoot the car's windows, the whole car will catch fire and blow up. I think I noticed that before. I don't know why that disappointed me so much. What is glass physics in an Unreal Engine 4 game? Physics, they just work. Thank you, Todd. <laughs> so in conclusion, Redfall is not a very good game. It's probably one of the worst AAA games I've had the unfortunate pleasure of experiencing these past few years. Hell, even a game that was my least liked AAA title this past year to date, The Callisto Protocol, at least tried to be interesting with its combat, atmosphere, and storytelling. But Redfall just feels so lazily put together and mostly everything about it just feels hollow, from storytelling to the gameplay itself. Basically, every cutscene in this game is told by a slideshow presentation, and the writing is just as generic as it gets. Weapons are uninteresting to use, most abilities are just terribly boring, and let's not forget about the absolutely horrible AI. The performance on PC is absolutely horrendous, and even when I was not streaming, I could not get the game to run at a stable 60 frames per second or above no matter what I did. And because of that, gunplay and movement just feels incredibly janky. The final nail in the coffin for Redfall is the fact that it is very lacking in presenting you with different ways to approach your missions, which is otherwise Arcane Studios' signature gameplay mechanic. Aside from breaking a few windows in now and then, your objectives are usually very straightforward, which takes away the one saving grace that this game might have had. Do not waste your money on Redfall. Do not waste your time on Redfall. And Arcane, you guys can do so much better than this. Anyway, thank you to all my members in the Ensfin squad for supporting the channel. You guys are incredible. As always, have a great day. Mr. Olten, signing out.